Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video. Go get a type to YouTube channel, like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, 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 all that good stuff. All right, so today, what I have for you, we're going to do another epoxy resin pour. Epoxy resin pour. This is going to be a broken champagne glass bottle once again. Thank you guys for uh, watching the previous video, how to make $5,000 fast. And these projects would definitely generate the revenue that you need to succeed. And as you see, I already used a silicone caulk to, you know, uh, to basically seal up that frame front and back. I already spray painted it. Um, as you see right now, what I'm working on is the um, pouring, putting the glass shards of the champagne bottle onto the frame um i simply i just you know put the bottle into two trash bags and i go outside throw it up in the air alley-oop bow and it breaks just like that that's all you got to do and then you just place it how you want to place it onto the frame um pretty much that's all that is to it um you know it's, it's a very delicate process it takes a lot of time because you want to make sure you get that resin in there right you don't want it to bubble up. So what you do, you get your part A resin. Then you get your part B, which is the hardener. You mix equal parts of these two chemicals. Make sure you're wearing gloves. Make sure you're wearing a face mask. Because once again, you do not want to be breathing in all of these harmful chemicals. You guys, come on. We got to keep it safe. And mix it up. Um, this stuff, this liquid that I have, I got it from Etsy. Um, it says you got to mix it up for five minutes. And once you mix it up, you know what I'm saying, you just pour it on top of the on top of the bottles. Make sure you get in a good coverage area. Uh, you can use a wooden stick or whatever you can use to kind of dig it out there. Make it even, smooth it out, pour it on there. Uh, make sure you cover every inch, every square inch of it. And you are done. What you have to do next is make sure you let it dry. You got to let this thing dry. For, I mean 24 to 48 hours you can also use a heat gun that's what I did I don't think I have this the clip of me using a heat gun per se in this video but you can also use a heat gun to get those additional bubbles out so that is nice and clean and right, once again guys everybody can do this um, but not everybody got the same creative swag as you so make sure you put your own swag to it and you can sell as much as possible okay and this is after I let it dry for, this has been about eight hours. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's soft. It's kind of, it's still soft to touch. Um, it's not fully dry. Um, and yeah, once again, and this is the finished piece. This is how it comes out. Once again, it's your boy Shadow. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have any recommendations on any videos that I should do, please let me know. Peace.